success in the passing game in this one and that's going to need to continue four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six throwing rivers they'll let this go for the end zone and that gonna be incomplete a lot of contact no call and it's third down quickly now a look at the buffalo defense throw the ball at your own peril when jordan poyer is in the lineup in the last two seasons He's been in the top 10 in interceptions both years and second on the team in tackles in 2018. An all-around terrific center field type of a safety. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Rivers complete. Richardson has it. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So first possession... And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And oh, he caught it up. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Off the play fake here, Rivers. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Tredavious right with a pick. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception. Three. And that last one, that hurts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast. as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Throwing is Allen on third. And that's caught by Beasley. Back-to-back -back big plays right there. And the Bills have another first down. On first down, Allen. He's got Smith here. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down fourth round guy and then he thought that's about where he would go but I think he's got some upside right 
He can come right in and be what they call a core special teams player, play on all four phases of it, and have a chance to work his way into the lineup. I think a year or two down the road, they could have a solid starter. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Ryan Kerrigan in on the tackle. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it that's going to be 15 yards. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. No score after one on EA Sports. First toss of the game here for the backup, Barkley. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Kerrigan in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Ryan Kerrigan able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll buy some time right. And that will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A field goal from here is 60-plus, so the offense stays out there. They're going on fourth down. Now Barkley, Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to have the first down. Tough spot here for the defense. Let's see if they can step up. We drop in on a first down in the red zone. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's sacked by the DN, Danico Autry. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. 
Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. And I'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Right there. 54, right there, right there. Yeah. Throwing on third and long. Barkley. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. And the 11 year veteran bangs it through, and that will double to six. Well, this offense has struggled. They have not scored yet. They trail on first down. Eason, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. A huge play that time for the Colts. 47 yards. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys can now Ready, ready! A potential turning point in a one-score game. What can this defense do as they look to hold on to their second-half lead? Got an open man. It's Foster. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. On third down, it's Hines. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spot. So short. defensive unit they're down but just by a bit on the scoreboard can they get this third down stop in the third quarter and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right it's a third down situation in the fourth quarter time to see if this defense is up to the task from the gun on third down Barkley and that's complete to crawl and he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 20. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. On third down, Barkley. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force the... Time to get you back live again. This offense in the red zone as they've got it first and 10 at the 17-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation. 
would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure when. We've got an onside kick coming up. With a kicking team trailing by five, they need to recover this football. And the Bills are going to recover. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't to get it. They still do have three. Yep. A first down carry now for Yeldon. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Again, it's Yeldon, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Go now. 60 Pittsburgh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check three, check three. Shoot. On third down, Yeldon. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. On the double. Hey, box drop, box drop. Get him, get him, get him. Ready? Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Campbell making the catch. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. tight end Doyle and he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 22 yard line he's back to throw and that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds he was looking for Jack Doyle that time and now it's third down Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. And down by five. They've got to go for it here on fourth down. On fourth down. Eason. Flushed out right. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Here we go, here we go. Well, this might be a no-win situation here. This defense powerless to stop the clock. This one might be just about over. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. We got this. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? 